Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, May 26, 2022. We have a free play coming up in baseball, three and one last night overall. Uh, I lost in baseball, but we won in the NBA, the WNBA, and in soccer, in afternoon action with soccer. Uh, we'll head into Thursday looking for at least another repeat of a winning day, if not a sweep. We do have two baseball plays on Thursday. I've got a four-star and a three-star on Thursday night. Uh, four-star plays have been outstanding so far this season. Eight and three, up over $2,000. We'll look to cash again. Five and two, last seven days in baseball overall. Two games on Thursday. Uh, stars of the show for me, so to speak. Seven-star main event in the WNBA. We won again last night with the Sparks. Uh, we're now nine and three this WNBA season. We're up over $3,100 in winnings. And my highest rated plays, which are those that are rated five stars and higher, are a perfect 4-0 so far this year, up $2,400. 1-0 with our only seven unit play so far this season in the WNBA. We've got one going on Thursday. So we'll look to stay red hot in the WNBA and a five star play in the NBA. My five star knockout plays in the NBA since day one this season, 37 and 18, 67%, up 8,300 bucks. And after last night's win with the Celtics, my overall NBA run going back to late October, 106 and 67, up over $14,000. Let's cash big on Thursday. All the plays available on my homepage at DocSports.com. Let's get to the free play for today. I'm looking at the National League clash uh, in D.C. between the Rockies and the Nats, Marquez and Corbin on the mound. And uh, you might know where I'm going with this one just by mentioning those two pitchers' last names. The total is eight and a half, and we like this game to go over the posted total. Listen, I know Washington is no great shakes when it comes to scoring runs, but I think the fact that they're facing Marquez is going to make up for that. Marquez has not pitched well. He's been clobbered several times this season, and in one start earlier this season against the Nats, they bombed the Rockies for 10 runs. I think they get to him again in this start. On the other mound, or on the other side, I should say, taking the mound, is Patrick Corbin, who has been an absolute mess and disaster in 2022. And the thing is, Patrick Corbin's got to go up against a team that has been outstanding on the road against lefties this season. I know Colorado makes a name for itself at home, but check out these numbers on the road against Southpaws in 2022. Number one in Major League Baseball in team batting average. How about uh, top five in things like weighted runs created plus on the road uh, against Southpaws? They are also so that, I should say top six. They're sixth in way to runs created plus. When it comes to Woba, they do the same. They're ranked fifth on the road against left-handers, and they're ranked fifth in Major League Baseball in OPS on the road against Southpaws. You get the theme. Uh, they hit Southpaws quite well away from home, and now they're going up against one of the worst in Major League Baseball in 2022 in Patrick Corbin. So I think eight and a half is a fair price if you like the over. That's the recommendation here. The free play, the over, but between the Rockies and the Nats on Thursday. Don't forget stars of the show for me, seven-star WNBA, five-star between uh, the uh, Mavericks and the Warriors, both available on my homepage at DocSports.com. Five plays in all for Thursday. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column.